Hi, this is Becky with Icing on Top Becky's Cakes, and today we're gonna make these really fun, cute snow globes that are edible. And today I'm just gonna show you how to make the ice malt dome that goes on the top. If you wanna see how to make the actual cupcakes with the snowman and little Christmas tree, you can just keep following my channel because that'll be coming out soon if it hasn't already. Now I'm using Simi Cakes pre-cooked ice malt, so all I have to do is pop these in the microwave in a silicone um, dish. I use this pouring dish. It is um, made for high temperatures for cooking in the microwave. So there I melted it. I do it at 30 second intervals and then I get it nice and melted. Now my silicone molds are bought from Amazon. They are made for high temperatures. They're a mo for mousse and high temperatures for cooking in the oven. And they're food safe, so you want to make check all that before you pour your ice mold into these. So I'm going to pour it about half full, not quite half full, and then I'm going to move it around so that that liquid ice mold touches all the edges. I want it to touch all the edges a couple times, and I have to do this very carefully because ice mold is super hot and will cause blistering and super bad burns. You do not want this on your hands, but I want to move it around so that it touches all the edges. And I'm going to make sure that it touches all the edges twice so that they're fully coated before I tip it upside down and pour it back into my container. So now I've done it twice, uh, but I skipped that so you didn't have to watch it twice. <laughs> now I'm going to dump it upside down like this. And now I'm just going to let it drip out. So I'm going to let it just take its time because it's going to come out slowly. So once I think that most of it has dripped out. I'm going to use a wooden skewer and I'm going to kind of get those those little tails that are coming out and I'm going to try to take down some of those tails and move them to the side. So I'm just using my wooden skewer to kind of move those and I don't really want it to touch the other side because then my ice malt will be gripping the edges. You don't want it to do that because then when you pull it out, if it's gripping the edges, it's going to shatter. You don't want them to shatter. These are very breakable. <laughs> so don't want them to shatter. So we're just kind of knocking them down, pulling them off. And, and then I will set it down on my silicone mat here that you see underneath to protect my table and also so that the ice malt does not stick to my table. And uh, I'm just going to let that settle there. And I'm just, now you see, do see me touching this part of the ice malt with my finger, but that's because I can tell that's cooled enough because it's not in liquid form. And I'm just kind of getting rid of those rough edges here a little bit and keeping them so that the lip is right inside those edges there. Then I'm just going to flip it over onto my silicone mat and let that cool completely. If you want to speed up the process, I have used a little portable fan to speed up the process. and. Um, yeah, I only did one at a time, because as you can see, as you turn the whole mold and you try to get it to touch all the edges, it gets a little complicated if you're doing more than one. <laughs> Believe me, I did try that, and I decided not to record that because it didn't go well for me, because then all this ice malt went over onto the edges, and yeah, they shattered when I tried to take them out. So don't do that. Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> now it's completely cooled, so we are gonna slowly pull it away from the edges and then we will try to peel it out because we don't want to shatter this. That is not fun. Once you get it all loosened from the sides, then you just push the bottom up and pull down at the same time and just peel that out of there. And then we have a very nice little dome here. Now these domes have a frosted look to them and the only way to get them a little clearer I'm very carefully using my lighter to heat it just a little bit that makes it get a little clearer. You don't want to do this very much or they will collapse on you. So you want to very carefully do this process of heating it just a teeny bit to get some of the frosty look off, but they definitely will still be frosty. But this will get just a little bit of it off. Uh, you won't be able to get them completely clear because like I said, they will collapse if you stay on them too long. But thanks for watching this with me and please subscribe to my channel and don't miss out on the fun little snowmen and cupcakes that we're going to be doing soon.